Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and in this video I'm going to talk about programming in HackerOS. So obviously we could do programming in HackerOS like you could do on any other operating system, but in this video I will go through what sort of programming languages are supported and how will guys you be able to program on HackerOS. So for supported programming language there are is HTML. HTML is built for websites, so if you basically want to make websites, then we'll be using HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. So these are supported program languages for HackerOS, obviously, like any of our 2000 of operating systems in this entire world. Um, we'll see it everywhere as HTML. And for other supported programming language, besides from like HTML or like web development, um, if you guys want to make software development, it would be C++. And for the reason why I say C++ rather than Python, yes, it does have Python support, um, but, but it highly relies on C++. So, you know, um, to be able to program on HackerOS, we need to have good knowledge of, on how to program in C++, because it does not have as great support for Python. Python, yes, it does have support for it, and it's, don't get me wrong, it's quite good support, but it does lack some um, features that C++ has that we could do with C++ on HackerOS, such, such as that on Python, we will struggle with using something like TK, um, which is basically used to create graf graphical user interfaces with Python, and whereas on C++ will find it a lot easier to do um, graphical user interfaces on C++. Um, but obviously you can still create graphic user interfaces in Python. It just we're going to have to do stuff on our own and that makes things a lot harder rather than using um, a, a, a built-in um, multi-core that we guys can add in such as TK or Turtle or anything like that. So yeah. Um, these are like kind of supported programming languages that I kind of support are HTML and some web development stuff and there is um, Python and there is C++. In this video I'll go through um, the Info Terminal, I'm going to go through um, Python and in for um, MP I'm going to go through something which is HTML just to kind of show you guys a, an example of how you guys to be able to use these two softwares to be able to create um, some sort of website or software to basically do some programming, um, which is what I'll be doing in this video. And there's many other tools. You don't have to use the terminal, you don't have to use PE. There are many other IDEs out there for HackerOS. But I'm gonna go through these two um, these two tools because they seem to be most popular for people that is um, programming on HackerOS. Okay, I'm gonna go through the terminal. So the terminal, is a tool which allows you to, to, to do text-based commands. So for example, we can tell the computer to update itself by doing pkg man and update. And all that does is that it will update the system, as you guys can see. I'm gonna do no because um, I want this to be quite fast. So once I've done no, we can do clear, and all that will do is clear for the whole thing up. And the other thing I can do with a terminal is that we can list out all the directories so if we do ls, um, which is what I mostly use, I don't know what la means, but I do ls, um, which basically is out for directories, and la seems to be doing the same thing. So what I can do is do cd, and I can go into call directory by doing cd, and I'll go to call, and that should basically allow me to go to the call folder. And now I can do ls again, and as you guys can see, there's some Python text file and another Python script, as you guys can see. Um, what I will do now is do clear, um, and as you guys can see from this example is that we can tell the terminal in a text-based format on how to tell the computer what to do. So it's like um, an older computer from like Commodore 64 where we just had like text-based and everything was text-based and we had to write down some text to be able to tell the computer what to do. So these were the days when we had like MS-DOS, if you guys remember MS-DOS. Um, but some of us are a bit too young to be able to understand it because we're not born at that time. Um, like me, I wasn't born when MS-DOS was around. I wish I was though because I would have absolutely loved using it. Okay, um, let's get over that and now I'm going to show you guys how to do some programming with um, the terminal um, right now. So I'm going to show you guys the Python way of doing it. All you guys here do is do Python 
free. And if you don't have Python free installed, what I guys can now do is do pkg man and now do install Python free, and all that does is install Python free. See, there's nothing to do because it's already installed. Now what I can now do is clear just to get rid of everything and now I can do Python free and all that will do is allow me to start programming in Python. So what I can now do is do print and now I can do hello world. And now as you guys can see it says hello world. You know I hello wrong but who cares. Now I can do um, a maths way of things. So I can double commit it to add something or multiply or divide or blah blah blah. So for example I can do 1 plus 1 and all that would do is um, give me 2. Because 1 plus 1 equals to 2, not a baby 1. But yeah, this is how guys you'd be able to, um, to be able to calculate maths within Python, which is awesome. But I'm going to go for the basics, I'm not going to create like a crazy graphical user interface with like be able to, um, for example, browse the web. Um, this is going to be a very simple tutorial on how we could use Python within the terminal or any other programming languages that you got installed on the system. What I will now do is I'm going to do exit and now I will just exit for the terminal. As you guys can see, um, now this is how guys will be able to do some programming within the terminal on um, on Python. And we can also do it on C++, but it might be different for each programming language. But this was just a demonstration on how it goes to be able to run something like Python within the terminal. Now I'm going to exit from here and now I'm going to show you guys an other software um, called PE. PE is built in software made by HiQ developers used to um, make it easier to do some programming with, um, with HiQ OS. So for example, if you guys just want to execute it, just click on this button and that should execute the command. And you can obviously add in some headers because this one is mostly great for C++ stuff. But if you guys want to use a different software than you guys can, there's many softwares like this IDE. Um, but yeah, this is just an example to show you guys as this one, this is, this is the best one that Haku OS has pre-installed. So I'm gonna make this full screen. And now as you guys can see, what I can now do is start typing in some commands. So for example, I can now do HTML, um, HTML. After that, now I can go and make another HTML, but this one has to be a closing one. And now what I will now do is do a header. So this will be H1, H2 doesn't matter, and now H2. And now what I will now do is put down, hello, my name, is John Cena. I don't know how to write Cena, but this is apparently how do I be able to write down John Cena. And now if you basically want to save it, just click onto the save icon right over here, and I'll name it as whatever I want to name it as. So I'm going to go to the core directory, and now I'm going to name it as um, goodman.html, and that should basically save it as a HTML. And now, as you guys can see, um, this is what I have got to set up and if you want to be able to run it just click onto this and it should be able to run but this is mostly supported on C++ so you guys can only really do um, some stuff with C++ with it um, but yeah this is just an example on how it goes to be able to use it so I down some C++ code press on this button and it should execute and press on this button to save it and you can also press on this button to open up a document so if for example I can click on to goodman.html and that should open up good, good man html as well and now if you want to see the website all you guys need to do is go to home directory go into her call um hold on what the hell happened there go into call and now as you see goodman.html and now as you guys can see my name hello my name is john cena so this is how you guys be able to program with this um sort of tool um, and you can also do C++, which is what this software is intended for. But you can obviously do some Python stuff and so on with it. So yeah, um, this was just a simple video just to show you guys what sort of programming languages are available on, um, on C++ and what sort of tools that there is that we can do programming with. Um, but the biggest um, negative thing about programming on HackerOS is that it does not have as great support as on Linux or Windows or FreeBSD. 
for example with Python it does have um, support for TK but the guys may know what TK is I use it all the time when programming um, graphical user interfaces when I do some programming for Linux and for Windows and big systems like that um, but basically TK um, allows you to create graphical user interfaces uh, much more simpler and easier um, by using somebody else's code so be able to import that code into the Python script and to be able to use that code to make it a lot more easier to create a graphical user interface uh, but obviously it does have that support on um, HackerOS which will bring some people upset by that but it does have great support for C++. We can create graphical user interfaces with C++. I mean, HackerOS is mostly built with C++. So if you guys are a big fan of C++, then obviously you guys will be happy to use programming, to be able to do some programming with HackerOS because it has great support for C++. And, and if you guys are not a big fan of P or of a terminal, then there are many ways or many other softwares that you guys can use, such as an online IDE, or you guys can install one from the software manager if you totally wanted to. But I don't know what other options there are that you guys can install as an IDE. But um, if you do some research and find out what sort of software is on HackerOS, that we can use the programming, and if you test it out, and if you like it a lot, then use it. It's personally up to you is programming and to find any tools that will feel comfortable with and if you feel comfortable with using it then use it for main projects anyway i just want to say thanks so much for watching this video please like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one and also i just want to say thanks so much for trying to do some programming in hacker os and thanks so much for watching this video because um hacker os do deserve love and they do deserve to have more software available and more games available and as you guys as more people um, like you guys contribute to developing on HackerOS will mean a lot to, to mean will mean a lot to people um, because that would mean that more softwares and more games will be available on their system. Um, bye bye.